What's happening, everybody? Um, it's Olu again, and it is another Monday. I've kind of gotten in the habit of recording on Mondays, and I haven't necessarily been uploading all that I've been recording. I've kind of been making personal vlogs, um, just documenting my recovery process. It's been um, that January 14th was the initial injury, 2020, and um, so it's been over a year now. And I've been documenting the entire process. A lot of you guys have been with me throughout this journey. Um, the past few weeks, maybe the past few months, I haven't been uploading regularly, but I have been documenting all the same. And I don't think what I've been documenting was necessarily worth putting on YouTube because it was very personal. But with what I'm doing today with this personal vlog slash workout video, um, I'm gonna actually kind of give you the, the gist the, the TLDR of what I've been documenting for the past few months. So, so. My intention has been to essentially relearn the triple jump from the ground up. I started this document about in last June, I believe, and um, I was still not even back to training. I was going through physical therapy, but I remember writing the intention that my, I'm going to, as I return to training, relearn the triple jump from the ground up. Now, what I mean by that is I'm going to focus on the little things that I completely neglected pre-injury those are well i can't say completely neglected because a lot of the things that i'm doing now i was already doing before it's just now i'm making the my my goal is to do those small things day in and day out and instead of just like before in the past i'd kind of sprinkle them in every couple of days now it's every day i'm doing something towards or almost every day i'm doing something towards regaining functional stability, mobility, and efficiency from the ground up. I can't even go individually and say every, what every single exercise is because there's, like at this point I've done hundreds. What's really been working for me has been an entire mental shift. And that is to see these little things that I just described as the, the barefoot, the prehab, the rehab. Um, because for the past year, those have been like my bread and butter, like all I've been doing. I now see that even when you're not hurt, they need to be all that well, all that you're doing, but in, ad in addition to what you need to be doing for your actual competition, for your sports specific training. Now I'm focused on doing everything consistently from the ground up, starting from barefoot drills to even the point where now today as I did my bounding drills, I'm doing very rudimentary, very low intensity, but also very quality bounding movements in um, neurological movements like fast quad drills I'll show right here so with these drills the goal isn't to be bounding as far as I possibly can or running as fast as I can but more so hitting positions hitting positions at a low intensity which means in the triple jump because I'm speaking specifically for the triple jump here when you're able to cycle through and plant in a flat-footed position and come off and over and over again it doesn't matter if you're taking two steps and run into it and doing it for 20 yards or you're taking 18 steps and doing it into a full triple jump to be able to hit your positions consistently is a scalable thing and it's discipline but also yeah it's, it's a discipline in your technique that now when you're training at a low capacity when it's time for you to increase your capacity when like for example for me when right now i'm training at a lower capacity as i still go through the ankle recovery the injury recovery process i'm still able to get technical work in so that when i am at full capacity i really haven't missed a beat in fact i've made much more progress because i've done the little things so consistently day in and day out that when it's time for me to put spikes on and jump the rudimentary is already taken care of and i can start to fly my first time triple jumping was 18 years ago i didn't take it seriously back then but by the time 2006 when I did start taking it seriously 15 years ago holy crap that's a long time um, I've learned I've been a student of the sport since then and there's a lot that I've learned that this really and I'm very it sounds great crazy to say this but I'm very grateful for how despite how I would never have asked to get hurt I'm grateful that in a way, I'm grateful that it happened because now it's given me a chance to really pause and sit back and reflect on my entire career up to this point and what I intend to do beyond. My, like, I can't really describe it any better than that. My mentality has completely shifted into better and now I'm really valuing what I'm doing on a daily basis versus just trying to get through practice to make it to another heat to jump again. 
So that's enough talking. I'm going to show you a lot of the, the workout I did today. Again, focusing on the rudimentary drills. Um, that's kind of the gist of what I've been doing for what I've been up to for the past few months. I know I've been gone, but I just like to post videos when when it seems right. I don't want to waste your time. And eventually, I'm going to continue to update this uh, vlog, this page, this channel with more of these drills. So enjoy.